Utah. We're at the Snowbird Resort here, and it's actually my first time here at the Sony condo trip. So I really don't know what to expect. There's gonna be a ton of people that do the same thing that I do. And ever since I was a kid, I was very shy, or I'm still very shy. I'm like that guy who stands on the side of the room choosing who to talk to, but never really end up talking to anyone. That is a real struggle that I'm trying to overcome. So hopefully I can make some new friends here and make those connections and be a bit more social. But besides that, Sony has planned a lot of activities for me to do here. We're gonna be taking photos of like models and stuff. We're gonna have lessons, conferences, and talks. The other thing is that there's gonna be a lot of camera gear that I can just rent out and play with. So I, I'm pretty excited about that because I really like camera gear and uh, camera stuff loves my money. Um, but besides that, it's been a while since I vlogged and if you're an OG on the channel, you might have remembered that I started off the channel vlogging when we were living in a car for 60 days. So it's been a while since I've done this. I hope you will enjoy this video and uh, let me know in the comments what you think about my vlogging skills later on. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So now we're getting the swag bags. I think it's in this room. Hello, How how's it going? Oh. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Wow. There's a mountain of bags. Awesome. Thank you very much. Nice. So don't worry guys, I'm going to show you everything that's in the bag at the end of the video. But moving along, we went straight to the Creator Hub tent. This is the place where they've got a ton of stuff set up here. The thing that caught my attention right away were these Gran Turismo race simulators. This setup is quite epic and I just had to give it a try. I don't usually play racing games, but man, this was so awesome. I think I might just build one in the future as well. Right after that, I bonded with some new friends over breathing in some scented oxygen. This is like one of those diffusers with different smells, but it goes straight up into your nose. So it's quite intense, but I've got to say that I liked eucalyptus the best. As we were leaving the tent, we saw something interesting outside. So there's a secret car here. We're going to go check it out and lift it. I feel like a criminal. <laughs> Time for the reveal. It is. It's a GTR. I knew it. Oh, Next, this is the gear rental area. They have just about any camera or lens that you can name, and I, of course, had to get the camera that I've been wanting for a while, but still can't afford. It's the FX3. This camera is like $5,000 Canadian, and together with the lens and the mic, it's like a $7,000 setup. You can see that everyone here is like a kid again, getting to play with their new toys. Look at that, bro. Yeah, that's... Bro, the oh, bokeh oh, on this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> Moving along, there is a tram that's gonna take us to the top of the mountain. I guess it's like a ski resort here during the winter when there's actually snow. At the top of the mountain, it's gonna be 11,000 feet in elevation. I didn't know that we were gonna go so early, but okay. On we go with all my new friends, all jam-packed here in one little tram. Who here is stoked to be here? So at the top of the mountain, it's pretty cool here. It feels like there's a whole event going on. There's people dancing and playing music. And it turns out that they're models for people to take photos of. It's cool seeing photographers in action and directing the models for their shots. People here are filming themselves as well, so I don't feel awkward filming myself at all. It's quite a nice experience being surrounded by people like me just doing their own thing. So right now we are like 10,000 feet up in the mountains a lot of people can't breathe because uh, the air is really thin and i feel it too it's kind of like you're out of breath when you're just walking around so it makes you feel like you're really unfit so uh but uh, it's an interesting experience they also gave you like oxygen cans so you can like sniff the oxygen but i didn't bring it up because i didn't think i need it but maybe tomorrow i'll bring it up tomorrow keep a crowd in a mess go to war with the rest of nobody putting respect on my name One and only. You're breathing it all in. I know. I was trying <laughs> to get over there. <laughs> it smells like fireworks or something. I know. It's not good. As the day came to an end, I've already made a handful of new friends, so I'm quite happy about that. So there's two more days left, and I heard that there's something special going on tomorrow. So these might be the new C7Cs. I don't know. We don't know. 
So this was indeed the global launch for the new cameras, the A7C II and A7CR. I love this line of cameras. I actually have two A7Cs in my studio. So I was very excited to see this. The other thing that they launched was actually the thing that I was waiting to buy for the past three years. And it's the new 16 to 35 f2.8 GM lens. It's smaller and lighter and I get to try it out here. Do you know you're gonna get one? I don't know. Okay. Find out. I know it. They didn't put you last. Oh, oh, nice. oh snap. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh yeah, so I like that one too. You wanna open it up? Alright, looks like you got the A7CR, the baby version of the A7R5, 61 megapixel sensor, AI based autofocus tracking recognition. What am I doing? I made a video already. Awesome, thank you. I'm doing a video for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is pretty cool. We got the A7CR. It's exactly the same size as the A7C. The grip is a bit thicker, so uh, it's gonna be better to hold, better ergonomics, and it's gonna be really exciting to test this out with the new 16 to 35. Okay, I really didn't think I was gonna get one. I got like stressed out, so let's see. Oh, I got the, the C2, which is perfect. Because, oh wait, what? No, I got the R. I thought it was the C2 because of the silver. Oh, but cool, we'll take some photos. So this is a loner unit and I've decked it out with the mic. Then I have the 24 to 105 over here. And of course, a variable ND filter because we're gonna be taking shots of outdoors and all that. So the new features that I noticed about the camera is that there's this front dial over here so that you can control your exposure better with aperture and shutter speed and all that. And the other thing is this grip thing over here so you can hold it better. The cool thing is that it actually opens up and you need to change your battery. So that's super convenient. And there's one more thing that they added, which is this little dial over here that you can switch to camera mode, movie mode, or S and Q. So that's a nice addition. And then we got my friend Liz over here as well. What's up? We've been taking lots of photos, doing lots of content, very exciting. So the A7CR is the tiny version of the A7R5. It can shoot 60 megapixel photos. This means that you can really zoom in and crop your photos to get a better composition while keeping all the details. I'm not really a photographer, but I shot a few photos and it's quite impressive zooming into them and see how sharp the picture still looks. I mean, I even risked my life taking this picture with this deadly apex predator to show you guys how far we can zoom in. So we got my friend Liz taking photos of the A7CR and I'm gonna try posing with the car to look cool. I'm not a model or anything, but uh, let's see how it goes. So now we're recording video on the A7R and um, I'm gonna show you what camera I've been using to film myself. This is the FX3. It's so good. Love it. Hi. Because uh, of the tally lights over here, I can actually see when it's recording. Oh, the stabilization is pretty good. I can, uh, when you walk around, you can see that it's... Wow, let's see what the footage looks like on this one. I'm just like doing that like leaning thing. Now we're doing the active steady shot. I'm going to walk towards the camera. One hand. So how's the stabilization on that? And if I flip it around, walk around like this. How's that? Is it like I'm holding a gimbal? We're gonna see in the edit. So how you feeling about the R? Pretty good. good. Yeah, I really like nice. the photo quality. It's been looking pretty good. The stabilization mm. is pretty, pretty good as well, yeah. but nothing too crazy. I think we're gonna know for sure once I put the photos on my computer and like can see the resolution and the quality. Okay, but if they were to trade you this for your A7 IV, would you do it right now on the spot? Yes, because <laughs> I would. The reason why is because I've always hated how big the A7 IV is, and I love the smaller compact size because I went from an APS-C camera to the full mm. sensor on the A7 IV. Okay. But it's just too big. Yep, yep. The size does matter, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding. So after playing it with it for a few hours, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. So I gotta return this now. So I hope you like that little first impressions over there and back to the rest of the condo trip. 
So later that night, we got to watch a movie, Gran Turismo. It was so nice that they had all these puffy theater seats set up for us. I don't know where they got these from, but man, they're comfortable. I really had a great time watching the movie. And the cool thing was that right after, they brought up the directors of the movie. And we got the inside scoop of how they actually made the movie using Sony cameras and how they mounted it on the cars and made the whole thing work. So that was a pretty cool way to end the second night. So on the last day, I took a chill, took some classes, rode on their mountain coaster, which by the way, it actually goes pretty fast. I gotta admit, it was pretty hard holding my camera while filming this. It wasn't the smartest thing to do, but then I remembered I was filming with the rental camera and not my own precious a7 IV, so it's all good. I also played around with the Sony Mokopi 3D motion capture system. They basically put a few motion sensors on me, and now I can finally become what I've always wanted to be. A sexy gothic vampire dancing in a rainbow room. This is some pretty hot stuff here, guys. So, uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already yet. Nice job. That's cool. So for the final cool thing that I did was that I went up to the mountain yet again in complete darkness. Now, why on earth would I want to do that? The last time I was here, I almost ran out of breath. But dang boy, that view is nice. So right now we're up at the mountain. I'm using the FX3. You can literally see in the dark, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if the image is noisy though. I'm gonna have to check on the uh, computer, but FX3, pretty good. Also, the other thing is that uh, we're actually up here for night photography, but the pictures I've been taking look like it's taken in the morning, <laughs> like the rising sun kind of thing. Um, yeah, there's a lot of skill involved in taking night photography. But the nice thing about this is that there's a ton of people around doing the same thing. So it was nice to be able to ask questions and actually see what the pictures are supposed to look like from people that actually know what they're doing. So I'm definitely glad that I went out of my comfort zone to hang out and learn something new. Okay guys, so today's the last day. I'm packed up and all ready to go home. Condo was actually really fun and uh, I met so many different people and so many new friends. I'm really happy about that. Everyone here was genuinely very nice and very approachable. Like just seeing other people shoot and do the things they actually like to do really inspired me and uh, made me want to get better. Because honestly, like seeing them shoot and stuff and edit their photos, it doesn't actually seem that hard. It makes me feel like that I can do it too. But one of the things I really want to remember from this trip is I really wish that I knew how to take better photos because there were a lot of photographers taking photos of models and stuff. You can book a model and go anywhere to shoot. I would love to be able to do that next time. On this trip, I was more focused on making the vlog and I'm more of a video guy. But again, taking photos of models, I think is a major feature of this trip. So I don't want to miss out on that next time. The other thing is that being on this trip really made me realize that like people that come to Sony Condo really actually want to be here and are happy to be here versus in the corporate world when you have like business trips and conferences. Uh, no, some people don't want to be there. So it makes me very glad and appreciative to be a content creator in this point in time. So the word condo actually means feeling something amazing for the first time. And those are the feelings that really resonated with me and inspired me throughout the whole trip. Because throughout the four or five years that I've been doing this, the most people that I met in Vancouver is less than five that I can count or remember. And being able to talk to them about this struggles about how to make better content and getting other people to check out my work and give me feedback really helps like getting other people to think for me is crucial and uh, just really helpful because I get stuck in my mind a lot of time from my content and you know that's why having friends is awesome the whole time that I've been making videos on YouTube I've just been making them myself at home and my wife is like the chief editor I get her to check my videos at the very end to see if there's anything to change but now that I know so many new friends um, I think I'm gonna get them and check it out as well. And although the trip is fun and all, I really miss my wife and my son. It's actually my first time away from the little guy for so long since he was born. So um, I'm really glad to be able to see him today. And uh, you know, making vlogs is cool. I hope my son can see this one day and be like, wow, daddy went to condo kind of thing. And if for some reason he becomes a creative as well and goes to Sony condo in the future, that would be super cool. So I kind of really miss making vlogs. It's like kind of a journal or a memory dump that I can always look back to and experience again. So I would like to make more vlogs in the future on this channel. 
Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see that as well. And before I go, I do want to thank Sony for sending me on this trip and inviting me to be here with all these other creatives. I don't think I would have ever got the chance to meet so many different people and experience so many different things. And at first, I thought I was really like out of place kind of thing, like I didn't fit in here. But again, everyone was very approachable. Everyone was very nice. So making friends wasn't too hard and being part of this Sony community, Sony family is really cool. Like I've never seen a brand take this much effort into creating a community and bringing them together to do cool things. So big thanks to Sony and the team for putting this together. I know it must have been a lot of work to organize the whole event and schedule everything. But for now, I think that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you liked the vlog. Let me know in the comments below what you think and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye. If you're still watching right now, thanks for staying to the end of the video. And for the bonus part, we're gonna see what's in this swag bag over here that they provided. So this is the Peak Design duffel bag. And the thing is that I was gonna buy this a few months ago and I'm sure glad that I did not buy it so I can have one now. I hate having duplicates of things. But uh, this is pretty cool. It has the Sony Alpha logo on it. And the neat thing is that we can actually customize the straps. I'll show you that later on. But let's see what's inside. So first of all, you got a condo trip t-shirt. And then we have this really thick sweatshirt that says Alpha in the front. And then on the back, it says filling the world with emotion. So this is actually pretty sweet. I think I'll be wearing it. And then these are the straps for the bag. So this is what I customized on it. They have like a laser downstairs that you can like laser whatever text you want onto it. So I got the Sony logo on it and then condo trip 2023. And on the other strap, I have my quad and simplify. So that's pretty cool. And then we have this blanket thing that says Sony condo on it. Next up, we have this oxygen thing. <sighs> hey, I actually feel better. <sighs> yeah, it's nice. It's very lightweight. There's a lot of sunscreen. I didn't end up using any of this because I brought my own for my face. This would have been very useful for the first day when we went up to the mountain. And next up, we have a lot of stuff from Condor Blue. So you got the Mondo ties. This is for like tying cables and stuff. You got the iJustine cables over here, USB-C to C with the right angle. And then you have Gerald Undone's HDMI to a micro HDMI cable. Next, we have this EDC multi-tool. So this is actually pretty good. I've been using it throughout the trip. It is actually this thing. It's like a pocket knife, but it has like this flat edge over here so you can like undo screws. And it has a lot of these bits as well that you can just plug into this. Like it's magnetic, so it can be a right angle or you can plug it in here so it's straight. And then there's a magnet over here to hold your bits. And the other thing is that when you open it up, there's a lot of other bits as well. So a pretty cool design. I'm not really sure about this magnet on the side though. If I put it with my other electronics, that might screw it up because it's pretty strong. But overall, a pretty cool tool for me to bring around with camera stuff. And then we have this hat. So there was a token inside this little black pouch that uh, we could use to redeem these hats. And I chose to uh, put this sticker on and there's multiple stickers that you can put on or I'm not sure if it's called a sticker or whatever So they just use like heat to attach it and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Mine says condo trip, Utah So it's a pretty nice reminder for this trip and the other thing they have over here is this uh, LMNT It's basically like electrolyte powder that you can pour in water so you don't get dehydrated and inside the black pouch there are this lip brightener and snacky snacks. They also gave me some popcorn too. So 
that's nice. So that's about it for what's inside this bag. However, there's a ton of other swag that they were giving out throughout the whole event, and let me show you those. Polar Pro was here, and they were giving out a ton of stuff. These are all like ND filters, CP filters. They even have the variable ND filters. So I'll be showing you those and what those look like. And the cool thing over here is that I think this is a special color that matches the Sony condo trip. What this is is a SD card holder. It can hold SD cards like this. It's like a little flask thing, so this is super secure. So it's pretty impressive. They were giving out the Peter McKinnon signature variable NDs. So this is what it is, but it's basically sunglasses for your camera lens. So you can adjust the intensity of the ND by twisting it. See, it's, it's like transparent. You can like see me, but when I keep twisting it, it gets darker and darker. This way you can keep your aperture the same to have that bokeh look, blurry background look. And uh, yeah, this is pretty, high quality stuff. And they also have this CP filter kit. It reduces glare and reflections and all that. The cool thing about this is that the covers and stuff is actually magnetic. So that's another innovation with filters that I haven't seen before. And uh, yeah, these are the rest of the ND filters that I got. So I'm pretty happy about that. And the thing was that they weren't like passing it out in the open. You kind of had to ask for them. So when you're at events like this, you get what you ask for. And the other thing was that when they let us use the A7C2 and CR, they actually gave us the Sony Tough cards as well, the 64 gigabyte versions. I have the 128, but uh, these cards are really awesome and fast and reliable, so I'm really happy about that as well. Anyways, I hope you really enjoyed this unboxing session. Thanks for staying till the end, and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye!